Take your container and your funnel and you're going to tear it. Pour five grams of agar into the container, followed by seven and a half grams of malt extract. Get 250 milliliters of water and pour it in and shake it up. The recipe used for this is the BAM Media M93 Malt Extract Agar from the FDA website. You're then going to wrap all of your petri dishes in aluminum foil. You can do them in stacks of five or do them individually. Uh, it's dealer's choice here. Just make sure they're thoroughly sealed and cleaned uh, before they go into the oven. Now, you're also going to preheat the oven to 400 uh, and put your dishes inside once they're done for two hours. Now, while your oven is preheating, you should be filling up your pressure canner with enough to uh, just space it out pretty evenly just for a heat sink, put your agar in the center, and then you're also going to want to apply olive oil to the mating surface on the inside of your pressure cooker uh, before making sure it's even and sealing it completely. Once the interior of the pressure cooker comes up to temperature, it's going to vent. This air needs to be vented for about 10 minutes. Uh, you should see a steady stream. After the 10 minutes are done, place the weight at the 15 psi setting onto the top of the pressure cooker. After reaching temp and rocking, the agar will cook for 30 minutes at 15 psi. After it's done, you're going to turn off the heat and allow it to depressurize to 0 psi. Once it hits 0 psi, you're going to vent it for a total of 2 minutes. Do not remove the weight prior. You're then going to unscrew everything and take the lid off and allow it to cool down. Transfer all your petri dishes and your agar into your still air bin, and then you're going to want to pour one tenth of whatever agar you prepared into each of the petri dishes. So you can see here, I do this relatively quickly. It is sped up, but the method I use allows me to pour relatively quickly without exposing them to the air for too long. Once they've cooled and set, you're going to wrap them in plastic wrap. Um, I do a little bit too much here, it doesn't matter, I'm just making sure it's sealed thoroughly. And then these are going to stay here for five days so I can check if bacteria has contaminated them. And if not, I'll use them for the growing of mycelium.